What in the world? What is this? Hey. What is this? Gonna drop more junk off in my house? The Craig's automotive shop. <laughs> where we take broken shit, make them more broken. Yeah. Pump it, pump it. Dang, that's loud. Too loud. Not even. It sounded good though. That mm. fancy motor you did build. But I have a broken window switch now. So. You don't need windows. I can't hear the cool noises. It's, yeah. It sounds so much faster than it is too. It actually picks up pretty good. Yeah? I, I was gonna say, I, did you drive it at all? Well, I drove it down to my work. That's where I had it picked up when yeah. I got towed. Got on the flat Faster part than it was. <laughs> that's all that matters. That was worth it, right? Yeah. That alone on itself is worth it. All right guys, today is a monumental day with the F100. Because as you know, a lot of you guys have always commented about it. It's one of the things I get comments on all the time is the way that this thing sounds. And it's a very unique sound, but ironically enough, it's actually not as crazy as it seems. So this truck is my first vehicle. I drove it to high school. I actually owned it since I was 16 years old. And I've actually had the exact same exhaust system on this thing since I was 17. Got the truck when I was 16, got it running for a year and driving. First thing I did was cut the exhaust off. I made the open header video for you guys. That was the video that went viral and then I built an exhaust shortly after that. Well, that came off of my white 69 F-250 that was wrecked. I bought that truck for the gauges that are in this truck, as well as the exhaust that was on it. It had a set of Flowmasters. I cut those off, welded it at my welding shop, and put it on my truck. And it has had three engines and the exact same exhaust for the last six years. So today we're going to actually change the exhaust because it's actually not that crazy. And the way it's set up is not really favoring the motor in front of it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little sound comparison before. And then we're going to go ahead and tear all this stuff off. And from the headers back, we're going to be doing a full two and a half inch stainless X-pipe, as well as new Black Widow mufflers. And the same tips that are coming out the side that'll actually be stainless this time so everything's gonna be a lot better a lot higher quality and uh overall it'll, it'll sound pretty wicked so i'm pretty excited i really am excited for the x-pipe but nevertheless my system is gonna go on the bronco you are getting the exhaust system that's seen more rev limiter than idle and it's been on like two or three trucks and it's literally like the state uh, that i can't think of the fancy word the the uh, <laughs> start the s word the statement that the, the statement piece yeah of my truck is the exhaust so you're getting that so you better live up to the expectations that comes with this, all right? It'll see plenty of abuse. It better. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna hand the torch to you. When we take it out, I'm really just gonna be like, here you go, Simba. Stick it on this. Yeah. No, this is cool, but this thing, this is an 82? 81, so this is an 81. I had a 351M. You thought it was a good motor. Lo and behold, you it drive it. a nice, fancy motor one, <laughs> at one point. Yeah, then you drive it two and a half or two hours home on five cylinders. Yeah. And it had like five pent push rods in it. And maybe a quarter of quart of, quart of oil. Yeah, it had no oil in it. So oh. uh, long story short, it's got a 400 in it now. That we built in two weeks in your garage, which actually came out really well. Yeah. Took this motor out, took two other motors, made one really nice motor in like a week. It so was a, it was a mission, but we did it. Yeah, but it worked and it sounds sick. So, and it's still running, which is even better. And you have drove it and it hasn't exploded. So that means you're ready for an exhaust and ready to beat on it, right? Exactly. So yeah. It's ready to see some air time. Yeah, big time. So yeah, so this thing's gonna, we're basically gonna pull the stuff off of mine, drop it onto here, weld it all up, and we'll have two hopefully decently sounding vehicles by the end of this. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fire my truck up. I'll give you a little sound check and then we'll tear off the exhaust for the last time. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> all right, this is the last time you're ever gonna hear this truck with this crappy exhaust system on it that sounds it, trust me, it doesn't sound as good as you guys think it does. It's just, it's always been that way. Here's a rule of thumb. If you've never 
painted an axle and you're not done working on your truck, don't paint your suspension because every single time you put it on jack stands, you got to put towels on it so you don't scratch it. And it's not like it's painted black, like spray painted. We did a copper metallic bronze on all the suspension on this truck. If you don't remember, put a tag up. Definitely go watch the video. It's actually pretty crazy. But it's one of those things that are underappreciated. You don't see it, so. I have to do this crap every time I put it on jack. Yo, Fold this up like an origami pigeon. Pigeon? <laughs> put it right there. I don't know what else are origami. They doves? Uh, a boat. <laughs> hey, look how shiny it is. Alright, now I gotta go get my jacks. I forgot them. Space over safety. Exactly. So that's what's nice about yours is yours is already up high, so we can just crawl underneath it. Because off road trucks, you build them and then you gotta crawl up into the engine bay to work on them. Yeah. But the, the lower trucks, you gotta jack them up to do anything underneath them. So it's like, makes it harder either way. Stock view. Leave it stock. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll probably kill me, but we'll go for it. It'll safely kill you. It's fine, it's future Craig's problem. <laughs> Bolt missing. I didn't even need them all. That's off. <laughs> so this exhaust system, when I built it, I made it because I was a stupid high schooler and I wanted to be straight piped. So I made it to where you could clamp it and remove it. But ironically, <laughs> both of you got a dent in for me doing this so many times. It's going, it's just a pain. Where I slip and just obliterate my hand. Yeah. This might take a little while. I see, oh, there it goes. It slipped. I hurt. I felt it. Well, I see rust. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Oh, there it is. <laughs> As you can see, this is why I haven't taken them off in a really long time. Because <laughs> eventually, when you do this so many times, it mushrooms the end of it and it never comes off. So it's easier to take the whole thing off, but I don't want to take the whole thing off. That's an, oh, wow. I put the towel down in the wrong spot. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> then I wanted to change this exhaust. It's stupid. I thought I was over engineering it. I wasn't over engineering anything at 17. I was just being an idiot. <laughs> if I can end this video without getting stitches, it's a good video. Well, we've made a half inch of progress. Ah! Oh! On the shin. Oh, no. my leg. <laughs> See? It was just that easy. <laughs> High school engineering. <laughs> I'll just drop him in the parking lot real quick, dude. It's so easy. If you do that two times, it's not as easy anymore. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm tired. That's too damn bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't even use the gava goop yet. All right, let that sit for three seconds. Oh! See how easy that was? That one was way easier. I'm so, so winded, dude. I'm so out of shape. <laughs> Fun fact, I didn't actually realize this till recently. When we were in duct tape in Arizona with this truck, where we were pitted was right next to Black Widow exhaust. I did not realize that. Well, Grape was there, saw my truck, found me on social media like a year later, and then was like, hey, dude, we should get some exhaust on your stuff. And I was like, all right, that's actually a good idea because I built this stuff when I was 16 and I'm looking to change it, lo and behold. So, we have a builder's kit from Black Widow. When you go on their website, they have a bunch of different mufflers and X pipes and different configurations. But if you're like me and you don't have a 2015 Camaro or a 1968 Mustang, they don't make kits for your truck. So you have to make it. So they make these. So it should come with pretty much everything that we need to go ahead and get this exhaust where I want it. Oh yeah. These are the U-Bends, two and a half inch. There's a couple of these. So we have one, a couple of those. Oh yeah, we got everything. More U-Bends, which is good. We got some 45s which will be nice. Those are definitely what I'll need. More 45s and we have some 90s. So as you can see inside the box, we basically have everything that we need. You can see there's a couple more 90s in there. You can get this thing up and over the axle if you're gonna run it all the way back. But it was one of those things where I didn't know how much I was gonna need. So, so the actual, oh yeah, there's the actual tubing. Well, it's good because we use these things all the time. So. And then there's the actual exhaust itself. Look at that. This will be the straight section. 
He's going to make good noises. See, it already sounds bad. <laughs> it sounds incredible. The biggest question I guess you guys probably have is, okay, so we're doing this crazy different exhaust. What muffler is it going to put on? Well, let me show you what I got in store. So this is the most important part of this whole thing. Look at this. Bam. X-pipe, the most important part. Because the existing exhaust setup that I have, the reason with it and the problem, the thing I don't like is it's true dual. If you're driving with a true dual truck, it has this like weird flutter below like 2,500 RPM if you're going up a grade and pulling a hill. It just like, ah, like makes this annoying noise that nobody likes and I hated that. So that's just something that you don't really pick it up on camera, but it's one of those things that when you're in the truck or driving it, it's super annoying and this is gonna fix that. So also when you're talking about like the NASCAR exhaust sound, this being a true X pipe that you can see straight through is gonna make that happen. So I'm super stoked with this. This is one of those things that I've definitely wanted to do. It's all stainless. And then on top of that, you got stickers. We got, yeah, we got some stickers that we're gonna put on there, which is pretty nice. And so this is the muffler that we're using. So I have a 10 series on it, but the problem with that 10 series versus this one, I'll show you real quick. Being this truck has a pretty built motor now, it's not even really me caring as much about the sound. It's more of the performance at this point. And this is the Widowmaker 10. So this is a true through muffler. You can see all the way through it. The problem with the muffler that's on it, it has a giant V right dead square in the center of it, which if you're anything like me and trying to do somewhat high RPM stuff, having a big V right in the center is just like putting a parachute right in front of the exhaust and being like, whoop, you gotta go around me first. So we got this, this is gonna cure that. The only downside is I think it's gonna be way louder. So I guess we'll sound cool on camera, right? <laughs> so we're gonna put this like that and then we're gonna make it do things and then it's gonna go out the side and it's gonna make me a very happy person. So let's put it on. Yay. All right. So, like I was saying, one of the most important parts of this system is the X-pipe. So, the first thing is to figure out where should I put this thing? So, where I think I want things and where they actually go are very two different things. So, I realistically want this X-pipe like right at the drive shaft. So, I'm kind of moving this thing around. I'm like determining where I want the tip to go. So, this is like where the outside exhaust. So, realistically, I think in the long run, we're going to run this setup and I'll install a cutout later on to a much quieter system. So, this will be like our, you know, track setup or like that we're building the loud exhaust setup right now. If I slide this forward, is I can tilt this and then I can have these two pipes bend into the X. And I can kind of shuffle this thing left and right to get it where I, where I need it to be. And then from there, I have to basically make this thing come out, turn, go straight, and then determine how straight I want it before grabbing this, whether I want to move this thing, you know, more this way or more this way. Yeah, I'm gonna try that out and see what I get. Well, that one went way better. All right, now I gotta figure out how to make that go there and this go here. Fun. So, I think I got this section where it'll go like, like this. I think that'll work. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this on and then just kind of work my way back, I guess. I should probably make sure this is angled right. Yeah, it'll work, something like that, right? I'll just measure from the bottom up and make sure these are level. Yeah. And it is just a process out here. So I've got the one side. You can see it's all tacked up. Getting the other side connector piece. I made this little little U-bend dealio right there. Get, the, get a little nice curvature right there. Because since you got all the U-bends, you might as well use them. There's no reason to kind of like zigzag perpendicular tubes together and make it all curve nice and nice. Flow better, make more power, sound better, the whole nine. So yeah, then we got all this stuff out here. We're just like a full chop shop dealio today, I guess. So we're making a collector because Garrett couldn't get the one that he needed. So we're like, we have metal, let's just make our own collector. That's what we're doing. Just gonna spend the next six hours making a collector. Yay. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> oh. 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 Jesus. Ah. I can't see it. Let's <laughs> take a look at this bad boy. I was gonna say, how's yours going? Call that done. <laughs> Call it done? Dump it right down there. That looks good. <laughs> I like it. All right, so I got this thing on. 
You can see how I'm going for now. Drops down, grabs the X pipe, comes back up. Because I found out that you want your X pipe within eight to 18 inches roughly of the collector. So that's what I did. I threw it up and now I got it tacked on. I'm going to start it because I want to see what it sounds like. It's fine. If there's no muffler, you can't have an exhaust leak, right? Ooh. Okay, this is just the X pipe. It's, it's just tacked. I just want to see what it sounds like. I'm really, I'm really impatient. So. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> I know, that's what I wanted. That's why I wanted an X5. Oh my gnarly. god, dude. That's fucking gnarly. <laughs> in my language. That sounds so cool. It sounds like a Trans Am car, dude. That was the coolest thing ever. Uh, dude, I'm so impatient now. I'm gonna weld the whole thing. You know what? We don't even need mufflers. We'll just run it straight out the side. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It's way too it's loud. Gonna, I feel like the muffler's gonna amplify it though. Yeah, these mufflers are gonna what's actually gonna bring the sound. Yeah. All right. This is the system tacked together. Let's see what this thing sounds like. This is like six years of the exact same exhaust system. Three motors, same yeah. exhaust. Just can't get rid of it. It's just like high school all over again. It's really chill as fuck. Yeah, I like it. That's nice. And, and Iowa's not even that loud either. All right, guys, next day, got everything all tacked in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out now so I can put it on either a bench or the floor. You can see this thing came out pretty trick. Pretty stoked with it. Looks really good. And then you can see I purposely made this pipe as straight as I could. That's part of the tone with this thing. Because if you've ever seen an old like Trans Am car from like the 60s, like the Mustangs, all those high like 8,000 RPM small block motors that do like road course and stuff, that's how their exhaust is set up. It's basically uh, under the cross member, put next there and shoot them straight out the back or straight out the sides. It's no crazy bends all over the place. Um, I get it when a lot of these cars are super low to the ground, a lot lower than this truck, you want to get it as high up as you can. I have a pretty good amount of ground clearance right now. So you can see the lowest point in the system is basically where it goes underneath that cross member down there and then it just immediately swoops back up and I have it pretty tucked up pretty high you actually can't see it which is kind of nice so I'm gonna go and drop it down pull it out get the TIG out and then we're gonna go ahead and take this thing up I've never TIGged really much of anything but a piece of angle iron and the door jam of the galaxy so that should be pretty fun so we'll see how it comes out kind of nervous but what better way to learn right the other piece there oh, let's see let's see what's going on Okay, well that looks pretty good. It's kind of, you can see it's a pretty equal length setup. See it just basically comes out one side and then NASCAR style comes out the other. So, which is definitely key for this style sound. I'm not saying if you have a bunch of bends in it, it sounds bad. It's just the type of, you know, style that we're going for. So it's all tacked up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw it in the backyard, get out the TIG welder. We're gonna go ahead and fill all these, make them look really, really pretty. But yeah, I'm stoked to this. This looks good. All right, guys, so we got the exhaust pretty much wrapped up all the way. I got my exhaust hangers on. You can see those aren't moving at all, which is kind of what I actually want. I don't want this thing flopping around. I wouldn't want it to scratch my beautiful bedside. There's not, not a nice paint here. I want to preserve it. You know, no scratches or anything. But the uh, everything's all done. See, it looks pretty good. Long story short, my pedal on my TIG welder kind of pooped out for whatever weird reason, so I had to make the whole thing, it's kind of sucked. Coming back here, I went ahead and I cleaned up the axle, if you don't remember, this uh, and the front beams are also painted that same color. They're just a little dirty, but see the exhaust looks so sick, coming all the way back. It's so rad looking, I love it. And uh, I'm gonna drop this thing on the floor, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this thing up in the morning, and fire this thing up when it's around 10 o'clock probably in the morning, so I don't wake everybody in the neighborhood up. 
And since the motor is broken, we're gonna go take it around the corner and then do a couple 6,500 RPM pulls and see what this thing sounds like. I cannot wait to hear this thing, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. It's just a lot. <laughs>
sounds insane! Oh my god! Nothing like it did before! Nothing! fourth gear something happened yeah Garrett's running back that's not good <sighs> something happened I don't know it runs like shit I might have broke the motor yeah I don't know what happened hey, let me open the hood and just check everything he was smoking when you coming out the corner. really it looked I thought it was tire smoke but Gas at. I saw the oil pressure drop just a teeny bit. Oh, Brings us back here with the truck. So, um, what happened? So I'll analyze this pretty quickly. I don't want to take a bunch of time. Uh, I definitely hurt the motor. Uh, you can see it on the flyby. When I come around the corner, there's a bunch of smoke behind it. I couldn't see any of that. I don't have an AFR gauge in this truck, which is something I definitely should have had. 
But basically, long story short, I went around the corner, something was going on in the motor that I didn't notice. It was on a sick one, this thing was hauling, it was running really good, so I didn't think of anything of it. Came around the corner, grabbed third gear, fourth gear, and up, up in the top of fourth gear, it started to kind of fall on its face and backfire. So that's when I lifted. You can't really hear it, but uh, inside the truck I felt it. So I lifted, and then that's when I put it in fifth, revved it, backfired, I knew I heard something. So long story short, it leaned out in a cylinder, and it definitely hurt it. So I know exactly what happened, I know why, but we're gonna dive into it a little bit more in a future video, but I don't wanna skip across the fact that this exhaust sounds absolutely mental. I mean, I have never, Find me another F100 that sounds like this thing. It literally sounds like a 68 Trans Am Mustang from the 60s. It sounds unreal. Uh, I cannot be any more pleased with the way that this thing came out. Massive, massive thank you to the guys at Black Widow for working with me on this. I'll have all of their links down in the description. I highly recommend this setup because it sounds awesome. And if you're a small black guy like me, whether it's Dodge, Chevy, Ford, I don't really care what it is, and you want a setup that sounds like this, definitely look into the Black Widow. That X-Pipe, it makes this thing sound incredible, as well as these Widowmaker 10s that just gives it that perfect tone. And I cannot be any more pleased. This thing sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm very, very pleased with the setup, although we definitely have some work to do. So. The motor was broken, we had well over a thousand miles on it. I've beaten on it plenty of times at that point, so I'm not really sure why what happened happened. But nevertheless, we'll go forward from this and we'll learn and we'll figure out what happened, we'll fix it, we'll make it better. So that being said, I hope you guys did go and enjoy today's video. Uh, leave a like on it would really mean a lot to me. I definitely worked hard on this one and in the end it broke the motor again. So definitely check out my website, 909 Speed Company. Grab yourself a shirt or a sticker to help fund the builds because I like breaking stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video with the F100. Later guys.